3D printers are being used to create knee joints, prosthetics, even human organs. This is all happening at a company right here in our area. Eyewitness News reporter Tina Terry got a look inside and learned how this explosive field is changing lives. Frank Keel enjoying a morning stroll with his wife. After years of back issues, he's grateful for every step. And over the years, it, it just got worse and worse until finally I could not walk. I mean, the pain was so bad. He underwent spinal fusion surgery. Doctors placed rods and screws up and down his spine, trying to relieve the pain. I was in a, a hard shell uh, back brace for six months. It, it, it was very uncomfortable. After recovery, he wore that old brace to prevent re-injury. That is, until he walked into this Rock Hill company and learned about 3D printing. Rajiv Kulkarni is a vice president of 3D Systems. Every human is different. And the biggest value proposition that 3D printing offers is you can print one of a kind, custom part, at really low cost. In the 80s, the company's co-founder, Chuck Hole, created 3D printing. These huge printers make materials like plastic and metal to create products one layer at a time. One of the company's partners uses the printers to make personalized back braces for scoliosis patients and for people with back injuries like Keel. We are able to take the patient and unlike traditional processes, we use a scanner to take a, a, a scan of their body and then that goes to the, our design team. The 3D printing is so awesome. It is so exact. This one breathes. It's comfortable to wear. It's lightweight. The, the other shell was, was very hard. I mean, it was, it was heavy. Cool Carney says 3D technology is being used in all sorts of innovative ways. Almost all hearing aids in the world are now 3D printed. Um, a lot of dental prosthetics are 3D printed. You have a lot of automotive parts, aerospace parts. If you look at implants, you know, cranial implants, then you have jaw implants, you have rib cages, um, you have hip joints, knee joints. 3D Systems is even researching bioprinting, the That's process the of using uh, life cells to print body here. parts. Here it is, you can actually see that kidney as it was printed earlier today. In 2013, North Carolina surgeon Anthony Atala used living cells and a 3D right printer to build so a transplantable kidney during an episode today, of TED Talks. Actually, uh, is this a possibility? Yes, it's a possibility. It works in labs, it's in research. A lot of companies are doing this. It's not just 3D systems. It's a very real possibility that some of the key organs that get replaced today don't have to be donated by somebody. A possibility that could help patients in need of organs, giving them the same new life Keel is now enjoying. In Rock Hill, Tina Terry, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.